Okay, my friends, time to be an artist like Vasily Kandinsky. Would you please start with a square towards the bottom of your paper? This is going to become our trunk of our tree. We're going to make a pine tree just like Vasily Kandinsky would create. From there, would you draw a straight line across the bottom? And we're going to put a dot towards the top because we're gonna connect that bottom corner to the dot and this bottom corner to the dot. So what shape did we make now? You got it triangle on top of our square. So we have two simple shapes, but to create it in the style of Kandinsky, he loved to use circles that he would layer on top of each other. So one small circle, medium and large. And that's what we're gonna practice drawing inside. So there's a medium, maybe smaller, small, large, would you please take the time right now to draw your circles, all different sizes, small, medium, and large, inside your triangle. Great, I'm even gonna put one on the top for the star. Now when you're done, we get to color it just like Kandinsky did. So take your first color, whatever tool you're using, crayons, markers, and I'm going to just color a smaller circle inside a medium circle. And I'll skip over here and I'll put one over here. Try and do it four times. This one, I'm gonna make it look like a donut a ring, like a lifesaver, right? And then when I'm ready to switch colors, I'll do that again. Watch how I color around the blue circle. Remember, you don't have to use the same colors as Mrs. Pulliam. You get to decide. Now, if it's tricky to make a ring like that, then just stick to the circles, solid circles inside like this. I just wanted to see if you could try and make rings of color or circles of color like Kandinsky did. So this will take you a little bit. You won't be able to probably finish coloring this in the time Mrs. Pulliam's here, but just so you can see that some of them are done. You have your best case of the wiggles to get that color out, whatever you're using. And then let's put orange on the inside. So you see how this looks like a small, medium, large. Maybe you can describe that to a grown up in your house, small, medium and then large. All right, let's color a little bit of the star at the top of this beautiful Kandinsky tree. And I'm gonna color the center. Oh my, shining bright, there it is. So let's pretend you color all in. Don't forget the trunk. I'm gonna use my green and color the empty space around the circles. Ooh, I put a lot of circles in there. Take a look at this one. Wow, I sure added a lot. You can see where I did the green, small, medium, large. Now it's your turn. 